electronic counting devices and the modern computer. Electronic counting devices are improved mechanical devices that use electricity circuitry to function effectively. These devices finally paved the way for modern computing technology. The modern computer was built through the inspired works gathered from the electromechanical counting devices. Notable among them is the Jackass Loom and Babbage's analytical engine. They are called stored program computers following the Newman architecture. In this tutorial, we shall discuss the following. Herman Hellerit's punch cards, Newman machine, modern computers, Philip Emeagwale. Herman Hellerit's punch cards. Herman Hollerit's punch cards device is an electronic tabulating machine used in statistical calculation and analysis. The device was born out of a government contest to devise a solution to end the 1890 census earlier than the 10 years proposed. Herman Hollerit was a German-American statistician, inventor, and a businessman. He invented the punch card tabulating machine which we are used in summarizing statistical and accounting information. His invention took place in 1882 through 1884, when he filed for his first patent. The machine was used to process information obtained in the 1890 United States Population Census. With this machine, he was able to achieve in three years what would have taken 10 years to accomplish manually. Hollerich used Jacker's punch card idea to feed personal statistics into his machine. Holes in the punch card stood for a person's age, sex, state, and other similar information. There was one card for each person. As each card was fed into the machine, a set of metal pins were brought down on the card. The cards are then processed by pushing down the pins through the holes to enter cups of mercury underneath. The electrical circuitry is then completed by reading, sorting, or counting punch cards through a dial on the tabulator. To sell the machine, Hollerich formed the Tabulating Machine Company in 1896. The company later merged with several other companies to form the Computing Tabulating Recording Company in 1911. The CTR later became part of the International Business Machines called IBM in 1924. The Newman Machine John von Neumann was a Hungarian American, a computer scientist, an engineer, mathematician, and a physicist. He developed the maniac, mathematical analyzer, numerical integrator, and computer when he was a director at Princeton's Institute for Advanced Study. The maniac was the fastest computer at that time, that is between 1945 and 1955. During his study, he described a design architecture for a digital computer. According to him, a digital computer should have the following components. The input or output component for entering data and outputting information from the computer. The processing unit, which includes the arithmetic logic unit and the processing registers. The control unit, which has the program counters and instruction registers. The memory that stores temporary data, instructions, and mass data. The bus that transmits data and information between the other units. Newman's idea became an important contribution to organizing and building a high-speed digital computer system. His discovery was referred to as a stored program technique, in which programs and data are stored differently. This architecture became the standard for future generations of high-speed digital computers and was universally adopted. The principal feature of a Newman machine is that the program and the data are stored are both stored together. Storage usually takes place in the hard disk and is transferred as required to the memory or RAM. 
data in the memory is then fetched for execution by the central processing unit. Since this is practically how all present day computers work, Newman is then referred to as the father of the modern computer. Before Newman's idea, programs were viewed as an essential part of the machine. They are usually different from the data the machine executes. A common approach was to impute the program by some physical means, such as wiring a plug board. Data are manually fed into the machine for subsequent execution. As a result of Newman's discovery, computing and programming became faster, more flexible, and more efficient. In 1945, von Neumann proposed the stored program concept in his report on the EDVAC, together with computer pioneers like J. Presper Eckert, John Mochley, Arthur Box, and Hermann Goldstein. According to the original papers of the proposal, the new architecture has five parts, the ALU, the CU, the memory, the input or output, and the bus. The bus provides a data path between these parts. There are a, there are a data bus, address bus, and control bus. Such a computer operates by performing the following sequence of steps. Number one, it fetched the instruction from memory at the address in the program counter. Add the length of the instruction to the program counter. Decode the instruction using the control unit. And go back to step one. Von Neumann computers have some drawbacks. The von Neumann bottlenecks. Neumann's architecture imposes a performance problem on a computer system. This problem is referred to as the von Neumann bottleneck. By his architecture, the program memory and data memory share the same bus. This implies that the program memory and the data memory can access the bus one at a time. By this, instructions can be processed one at a time, in particular, they carry out instructions one after another in a single linear sequence. Also, they spend a lot of time moving data to and from the memory. This reduces the rate at which the CPU can work and the overall processing speed of the computer. However, various solutions have been proposed to, mit to mitigate this bottleneck. Parts of the solutions include the following. To provide a catch between the CPU and the main memory. To provide different catches for data and instructions. To use branch predictor algorithm. Or to use parallel computing technique. The modern computers. Following Newman's idea of stored program computers, different kinds of computers were designed and produced. Some of these early computers include the ENIAC. ENIAC stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, and it was the first general purpose and programmable computer. It used decimal rather than binary numbers and was first operational in December 1945. Manchester Mark I. This machine was designed and built at Victoria University of Manchester in England. It ran its first version in April 1949. EDSAC. EDSAC stands for Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator, and it was inspired by Newman's report on EDVAC. It was constructed by Maurice Wilkes and his team at the University of Cambridge Mathematical Laboratory in England. It ran its first program in May 1949. EDVAC EDVAC stands for Electronic Discrete Varia Variable Automatic Computer. EDVAC succeeded ENIAC at Moore School of Engineering, Pennsylvania. 
it was finally delivered to the Ballistic Research Laboratory in 1949. The UNIVAC. UNIVAC stands for Universal Automatic Computer and was invented by Presper Eckert and John Morshley. The first version was delivered to the Census Bureau in March 1951. Before UNIVAC, Eckert and Mosley had built BINAC, which is Binary Automatic Computer. BINAC was the first general purpose computer built for commercial use, but it was unsuccessful. Philip Emagwale. Philip Emagwale is a Nigerian American computer scientist and geologist. He is popularly called the Bill Gates of Africa due to his contribution to the development of a supercomputer. His work with simultaneous calculations on connected microprocessors earned him a Gordon Bell Prize in 1989. The award from IEEE is considered the Nobel Prize in Computing. He developed a system to hook up over 6,000 microprocessors rather than use eight expensive supercomputers to help analyze petroleum fuels. His discovery led to the invention of the world's fastest computer. He programmed the connection machine to compute a world record 3.1 billion calculations per second using 65,000 536 processors to simulate oil reservoirs. The connections correctly detected the amount of oil in a simulated reservoir. He has submitted over 41 inventions to, be, to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. In this tutorial, we discuss electronic devices and the advent of the modern computer. Polaroid's tabulation device was a known mechanical device that used an electrical circuit for a complete system of operation. The Minuman architecture later paved the way for the development of a stored program computer. This led to the invention of modern computers like the Manchester Mark I, Edsac, ENIAC, and the EDVAC computers.